Well, I've always been fascinated by spaceships. One of the earliest memories that I have, dating back to when I was about three years old, was going out one night just after sunset and seeing one of the early Russian satellites uh, pass overhead. And for some reason, that um, fascinated me then, and it led to uh, my pursuit of a career in rockets and satellites, uh, which is what I do today. I think there are tremendous opportunities uh, today and for, for many years to come in the satellite sector. Uh, some of these uh, are in communications and imaging satellites with commercial applications. Others uh, relate to uh, the use of satellites in national security and global stability. Others involve uh, space exploration, uh, carrying astronauts uh, back to the moon and to uh, destinations throughout the solar system. And finally, others involve uh, scientific undertakings to study the Earth, to uh, explore the planets, and to look at the universe beyond from the vantage point that satellites provide. Well, satellites have really transformed the world in many, many ways. Uh, our economic prosperity, not only in America, but in many countries around the world, uh, is due in large part to the new services that uh, satellites provide, ranging from communications and imaging to ubiquitous navigation and timing through the GPS network. Satellites have also contributed over the last 40 or 50 years to national security and to international stability. Uh, uh, they've certainly been the source of inspiration for many generations of young people um, as space technology has been used in uh, exploring um, uh, the region around Earth and uh, in the future going to the Moon and to Mars. But um, from my standpoint at Orbital ATK, we have been privileged to be involved in one other aspect of satellite technology, namely the use of satellites in scientific investigations. Over about 35 years, we've uh, designed and built roughly 40 scientific satellites that are used to monitor climate change uh, uh, on Earth. Uh, they have also been used in monitoring uh, the solar cycles of the sun in uh, exploring uh, not only our galaxy, but the whole universe with uh, astronomy satellites covering the whole spectrum from infrared and visible wavelengths all the way up through ultraviolet, uh, X-ray, and gamma ray uh, frequencies. And finally, satellites um, and the technology that uh, uh, they have spawned have been used in robotic explorations of the solar system. And one of the uh, most exciting projects that I've had a chance to work on uh, involves the Dawn spacecraft launched from Earth about seven and a half years ago. It, uh, uh, four years ago, uh, rendezvoused and orbited what was at the time the second largest asteroid in the solar system called Vesta. Uh, Vesta has since been promoted to being the largest asteroid because what had been the largest body is now a dwarf planet called Ceres and Vesta uh, having, having departed from Vesta uh, about uh, three years ago, the Dawn spacecraft just this month uh, has gone into orbit about Ceres, the first time that a spacecraft from Earth has ever uh, explored a dwarf planet up close. And I'm sure there's terrific uh, new scientific discoveries that will emerge in the months ahead as we get closer and closer to this uh, uh, as yet unexplored uh, uh, baby planet. Uh, orbiting the sun between the distances of Mars and Jupiter. I think this, the space uh, industry is a great place for young people to uh, build their careers. Uh, it offers uh, a, a wide array of market applications, uh, uh, technologies, uh, engineering and manufacturing challenges. It's a very diverse industry, diverse uh, from a uh, geographic and a cultural standpoint, from a gender standpoint. So I think it's a terrific area uh, for young people to, to consider, particularly those that have uh, 
interest in uh, science, uh, engineering, and math. Uh, this industry has grown tremendously over my career, and I have no doubt that uh, over the careers of young people today, it will become even bigger, better, and more important to uh, uh, our everyday life on Earth in the decades ahead.